Hey guys, Shea Bear here. Today we're gonna take this, take apart this fan and get it all cleaned up. It's looking pretty nasty. Want to help me? Okay, guys, we got this fan here. It's a Honeywell. Look how bad that is. Now, she had this when we first, when we first got together. She already had this. She didn't use it much. She says, "Well, it gets hot out there messing around that garage. Why don't you take that little fan out there?" So I did, and I've neglected it, as you can see. So we're going to take it apart, clean it up, try to get it looking. It works fine. It just needs it needs cleaned up very bad. So you know we're going to. Uh, blow it out the best we can and uh, we'll take it apart and wash it up and clean it all up and I'll show you how to do that you know on the back here there's some screw holes there's one there two three four five and six there's six screws holding this front on here so let's go ahead and take these out. Okay, now this front should just come right off, and it does. See, he can see it's in bad shape. So, but we're going to take care of that. Now this fan inside here has one of the little clips. It only goes on one way. You can't get it get it off usually without ruining it. So this may have to stay on and I may have to uh, figure out a different way to clean that thing without getting it soaking wet. But anyway, let's get this base off of here. And to do that, take these little covers off. Yeah, and there's screws in there. And that's, this is how, how it adjusts. That's that clicking noise you hear. Right in there. Okay. There's one on each side, of course. Now, we're going to take these screws out. Same way with that. Alright. Now, I'm going to show you that. It's got these little you don't want to lose these. That's what comes out and locks. See it's whoa. Don't lose that. And there's a little tiny spring in here. Like that. So don't lose either one of them. So, alright. That's good to go. Uh, it's got a couple more screws right here to take these pieces out. And that's how that comes out. And remember which way that goes, guys. So you can put it back in. See? It won't go that way. So, it'll go that way. Alright? So there's really only one way it can go, but just in case, 
always make sure you remember take pictures whatever that way you'll know where everything goes and how it came apart like that so always make sure you keep your stuff in the nice I need to get me one of them uh, magnetic trays it looks like a ashtray okay now we got we got our base here so let's get it's pretty cool. It's got a number for recycling if you want to recycle this thing. If it quit working, whatnot. Alright. Now. This, like I said, I really... These things, I hate messing with these things right here. Because they never... You can get them out pretty easy. But they never want to go back in the way they came out. Uh... I was hoping some of these have like a little screw on knob on this one don't so I'm probably going just going to have to blow this out real good I'm not going to be able to get a lot of water on it but these two things I can blow out this and this I'll blow off and then I'll wash these in the sink so raining out today Okay guys, we got these pretty well cleaned up. I put a piece of masking tape, or painter's tape, whatever you want to call it, on there. And I did this for a reason, because I want to show you something. I've got a paper towel right here, and in this bottle I've got some automatic transmission fluid. I want to show you how to rejuvenate your plastic. It's a little trick we used to do on our motorcycles and four-wheelers. Uh, and I, I still use it. I still do it. I do it on uh, like the mirrors on, on your on your vehicle and whatnot. Now I want to show you the difference between this. We'll rejuvenate this plastic. You don't have to go hog wild with it. And you let that sit on there just for a minute. Then take a dry end. Dry it off. And then I'll show you the difference. Look at that. And it'll stay that way, you know, for a while, you know. So I'm going to do that whole fan like that. Uh, but yeah, you just rub it on. Yes, you can use it on plastic, rubber. It doesn't hurt anything. Don't use it on your steering wheel and your brake pedal and all that stuff uh, and cause an accident. You, you don't want to do that. Uh... You know, I don't know why I'm making this a disclaimer, but um, don't come back on me if you have a crash because you did something stupid. Okay, so so there's the difference. All right, so I'm going to do that to all these other pieces, and then we're going to put it back together. Okay, we've got it all pretty much cleaned up. I'm sure I've missed a few spots down in, in these ribs and stuff. But let's go ahead and put this thing back together. And 
Let's speed it up a little bit, all right? And the final piece. And there you go. You just wipe your little paw prints off. I'm sure I missed some of these, but um, it's a garage fan, guys. It's you know, it's not a '57 Chevy Belair two-door convertible. It's just a just a little fan, but. Just a little tip on how how to rejuvenate your plastic. So there it is. Of course, if you're doing something like on a car or motorcycle, I'm sure you'll be a little more particular particular meticulous or whatever but uh anyway it's just a fan but that's that's uh just wanted to share that with you guys but i'm sure you noticed that fan in the background of a couple of my videos and how nasty it was looking but there's there's her fan all cleaned up uh, she let me use it so i'm gonna take care of it a little more than I, I have been because it got really dirty. It's just dust and dirt, but yeah, that stuff's nasty and it gets blown around. So if you have allergies or anything like that, you know, that that can bother you too. So it's always good to keep these things clean. If you have compressed air, you know, take it outside once in a while, blow your stuff out, blow your fans out, your filters, whatever, and uh, keep that stuff clean. Do that every so often, and uh, and uh, you'll be all right. So uh, there's a there's another one for you guys. So thanks for watching, and uh, Shea Bear 1000, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye bye, guys. Take care.